Hi, this is Joe, and I'm representing our team SP Avengers to demonstrate our newly developed applications for Sienna UNIC 2016. Okay, our project scope is to develop a network management and service monitoring system for Sienna Web Server. Okay, before I move into the demonstrations, uh, let me give you a brief uh, background on what is Sienna. Sienna is a US-based company which manufacture uh, very high-speed interconnect systems for data centers and networking. Well, now let me bring you to the applications. For this application, we use the Android systems and web applications. Okay, this is a dashboard uh, for the Sienna Wave server, which you can see the, the server uh, current date and time. And you can see the server uh, ID and the API that given by the Sienna from uh, uh, Emulation Cloud. Okay, here you can see our data store here. So from here we can check uh, certain uh, informations from the API. Okay, uh, now let me quickly bring you to the our main. Uh, monitoring dashboard which is our simulated network uh, map for Singapore so here so we have a uh, put uh, three uh, wave server across Singapore one in Jurong one in Yishun and one in Changi so from this dashboard we are monitoring what is the alarm from one of these three uh, servers so I see here Yishun and Changi are having a uh, alarms so Without further ado, uh, I click onto this issue network. So, so it gives me a uh, his the alarm ID of nineteen. So, as a technician, uh, in very quickly I cannot know that what this uh, alarm ID nineteen means. So I can quickly check by a single click. Okay, what is alarm nineteen and what what is will be the severity? Now I see it's quite critical. Uh, happens on uh, today um, 835 and 26 okay so uh, you can see some group identifier and member identifier as well so this is in a JSON format okay um, which is good is that example if as a technician if I cannot uh, solve the issues I can uh, save the data to a file and then later on I will send this data to the uh, senior technicians or senior engineers. Okay, so now let me bring you back to the uh, menu. Okay, uh, in this menu, we have a uh, quite a uh, user-friendly uh, interface for some kind of monitoring. Okay, okay now we have a uh, uh, Chase's uh, fan speed monitoring uh, menu here. So once I click uh, here I can monitor the speed of the the running fan. So which is running okay now it's eleven thousand RPM. Okay. Uh, next I can check the uh, chasis temperatures from the CM Sienna emulation cloud. So this data is live from the the, the emulation cloud, and I, I can also check the, the interface speed. Okay, which I have uh, currently I have two hundred here. Okay. Okay. Next I can simulate the alarm here. Since uh, this uh, API will allow us to simulate the alarm, so I will simulate the alarm. So what I'm doing is that when I click the alarm system, it will randomly generate the alarm. Also, the alarms will be stored into the database for further data analytics and visualizations. Okay, now let me simulate the alarm here by clicking the button over here. So as you see here, so alarm has been simulated successfully. Then as you see here again, you can see the alarms are coming here. Okay. And then now, the alarm that generates is 8. So I would like to check what the alarm 8 means. So I just click on check alarm ID. So I quickly see what's alarm 8. And then the severity is pretty critical, isn't it? So it happens on this local time, Monday, June 27. Okay, and so on. Okay. I believe this system will help to uh, quickly understand what is the alarm and solve the problems in a timely manner. Compared to the traditional systems, if any alarm system come, uh, the technician have to uh, flip onto the manuals and operations. It pretty takes time. 
with this uh, open API and this uh, application, uh, we can solve our alarms and issues quickly. Okay, at the same time, I can clear the alarm over here. Again, I can simulate another alarm over here. So now it's alarm 17. I can even check what is alarm 17. So click on the ID. Okay, so now severity is critical for this alarm 17. Okay. Okay, and then the reason is set. Okay, and then here that we got instant service 500. So it's a quite complete information uh, for a technician to solve it up. Okay. If anything, uh, for further help, a uh, technician can send the email out to the senior engineers by clicking in this email menu. Okay. Okay, next, uh, let me bring you to the some hardware activities. From this menu, you can uh, roughly see our device information and uh, the interface connectivities. Okay, let's back, bring you back to the menu. Okay. Now, I have an issue in the server. I really need to solve it. But API uh, have some limitation that I, we only can read some information, but it doesn't allow us to uh, go into the system to solve the issues. So for that, we have uh, developed these SSH uh, systems, which we can uh, securely log into the wave server using the IP and username password. Okay, this is our SSH applications. We can just simply uh, enter the SSH information and, and then we connect to the server. Okay, once you're connected, we can uh, see what is going on internally inside the server. Okay, now let me bring you back again to the Sienna ONIC systems here. Okay, uh, we, also, we also have added the analytic features. Okay, so what does it do is that, okay, uh, remember just now I have simulated the alarm system here. So this alarm will be stored into the database. So this data has been uh, used to analyze. Okay, so uh, for this particular ID, are there how many times occurs in the month? Okay, so to analyze that, uh, we are using a, a web applications which has been pulled to our uh, mobile applications. As you see here, this is these are the alarms uh, from two to thirty two here, which has been occur uh, within a month. Okay, this is for the uh, three wave servers. Okay, so I can also analyze per machines. It is for machine one, machine two and machine 3 okay okay I can also monitor when the alarm has been occurred by checking this uh, alarm history over here so this is has been pulled from the database and web applications okay so this is for the uh, for our three a uh, total of three machines so can we can monitor uh, three uh, machines at the same times also this is to monitor per machines Okay, uh, with this analytic, we strongly believe that uh, uh, we know what the alarm is frequently occur and we can do uh, some preventive, preventative measure by knowing it and we can do uh, some uh, maintenance or some repair uh, before actually the, the actual hardware uh, failures or something happens. I believe it will save a uh, cost in a uh, uh, repair. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think uh, that's all about my demonstrations. And uh, thank you for watching the video. Goodbye.